Dr. Leonard Feldman is leading efforts at Johns Hopkins Hospital to educate residents about common procedures that aren't effective. He sat with us to talk about how he picked what practices to highlight and why doctors are doing them in the first place. It was both out of my usual um, clinical practice and, and the things that I've been taught and seen and watched and been driven nuts by when the residents or other attendings do them, um, plus the practicality of what really it, the evidence is that's out there so that I, we could have an intelligent discussion. Some of it is we don't know any better. We, we think that it's the right thing to do and we haven't had studies to say that it's not. The overwhelming factor is it's what our senior resident did when we were a junior resident and what our attending did when we were a senior resident and we go, okay, that's the way it's done. For someone to have said, wait, let's step back for a minute and really determine if this is helpful to people, that actually took some guts uh, for someone to do that trial for something that is just so universally done uh, and really the standard of care everywhere if we can make it best practice to actually do the things that we know work and avoid the things that we don't, that don't work, we might be able to do better for patients and save money. Dr. Feldman said he and his colleagues are putting together creative ways to get residents thinking about what they do before they do it. One of the things that we'll be doing in our evidence-based medicine uh, training for our residents is that they're gonna come up with myth busters uh, so, you know, sort of like the TV show, things that we do just because we've always done them and let's think about them. There's a lot of stuff that, that um, happens in medicine that way. Um, and so if we get the residents actually doing this on their own as well, uh, you know, hopefully that gets them questioning more and more why they're doing the things that they're doing and to really try to find the evidence. Um, and I think it really fits in well into medicine right now where many people are questioning what we do um, and how we do it and whether we are really doing the best for the patient um, at all times when we're doing additional tests or different or additional therapies. I sleep much better knowing that I'm not doing harm and in medicine that's really one of the first precepts is to do no harm and many of these extra tests that we do may actually cause harm. From Johns Hopkins Hospital, this is Francis Correa.